Hello students, I am here with an another lesson for the revision. The lesson is Lost Spring. And you know the writer, Anis Chen. Lost Spring and the writer is Anis Chen. And this lesson, it has another title that is Stories of Stories of Stall Child. Stories of Stall Child. We all know that what is the most memorable days in our life that is our childhood. So here Anish who is just sharing some stories about few children's childhood. Okay. So let's see something about the writer Anish Chan. She is an author journalist and a columnist for major newspapers in India and abroad. She was born in Hyderabad in 1944. 1944 in Hyderabad. And she was born in Hyderabad in 1944 in an aristocratic family. Aristocratic. Aristocratic means Aristocratic means uh, the highest class in certain societies or upper class family because her father who was the advisor of the Nawab, the last Nawab. That is why uh, she, we may say there that she was born in an aristocratic family or upper class family. Her parents, both father and mother, they were famous writers and her schooling and graduation were completed from her hometown. You know that what is the which is the hometown that is Hyderabad, and after that she went abroad for higher studies in US. Uh, there she completed her masters in sociology. Jung came into the limelight with the publication of Unveiling India. Unveiling India. So please see that the title of the story is Lost to Spring. And written by Anis Chan. It was written by a famous writer, India writer, Anis Chan. And this story, which has another name, that is Stories of Stolen Childhood. Because these stories are telling about the poor rag pickers and bagel makers of uh, Indian slums. Listen, she started writing in 1987 and she published several books dealing with the social issues including abuse children and women's problems. Jung is noted for her lively and vivid description. Lively and vivid. Lively means a very attentive, clear description and she rarely gives a solution. She describes everything, the problems and there is no solution in her uh, writings. In this lesson, the writer describes, here we may see that the Pitiable condition of poor children to how to live in slums and work very hard. Okay, the lesson uh, lost spring. It talks about or it describes here uh, the pitiable condition of poor children who have lived in slums and work very hard. They are never sent to school because their parents are too poor to pay for their education. This lesson has been divided into two parts. The first part describes the writer's impression about the life of a poor rat pickers. Okay. There are two parts. The first two parts that is about rat pickers. Do you know what is rag pickers? Rag pickers means who collect uh, the materials from the garbages and sell it there. Whatever we throw and we feel that are not useful, such items, they collect it from the garbages and sell it for their livelihood. Okay. This lesson has been divided in two parts. I told you the first part describes the writer's impression about the life of poor rag pickers who have migrated from Bangladesh. Actually, their hometowns were in Bangladesh and they have been migrated from there. 
And now they have settled in Sima Puri. Okay, it's not the place name. Sima Puri. Okay, now they have settled in the Sima Puri area. Where is it? The Sima Puri that is in Dalhi. Okay, Delhi. The second part describes the miserable life of battle makers in the town of Pirosaba. The second part, one, first one is about black pickles and the second part, the story, that is about uh, battle makers. Battle makers, the second part describes the miserable life of battle makers in the town of Pirosaba. This lesson starts with a question. Why do you do this? The start with a question. Why do you do this? It's a question. She asked to someone. Let's see there that who she asked this question. The lesson starts with a question. Why do you do this? The writer asked this question to a boy named Sahib. Boy named Sahib. The writer asked this question to a boy named Sahib Alam. Sorry. The writer asked this question to a boy named Sahib Alam. The writer sees that few boys searching gold in the garbage. That is why she asks that. Why do you do this? Actually, the boys look for some points or other things in the Garbage heaps. Garbage. I told you there that where we keep waste materials. Okay. These boys they were searching uh, some points or other things in the garbage heaps. Once she meets these boys and she asks them that is why do you do this? And the boy's name is Sahebe Alam. Don't forget about that or one of our central character that is Sahebe Alam. She has encounters with this boy and once she asks him that why do you do this? Because these boys they were just picking up rats. Okay, rat pickers. Many times the writer talks to the boy named Sahebe Alam. And she comes to know that these people have migrated from Bangladesh. The fields and homes were such a way by strong. They had nothing to eat, so they come to the big city and started living there. Even now, Sahib does not have any memory about his hometown and home also. As we see in the beginning of the paragraph, she asks a question that why do you do this? And he replies there that he has nothing to do other than searching in this garbage. Then the writer tells Sahib that he should go to school. Here, writer tells Sahib that he must go to school. And his replies, that he replies there, there is no school in his neighborhood. I want to go to school, but there is no school in this neighborhood. And this, the writer says half jokingly, if I start a school, will you come? If I start a school, will you come? And replies that he replies there, he promises that he will surely attend the class. And do you know that that was just a Half jokingly, she says that, ask him there, but and the writer has to feel ashamed when a few days later Sahib asked her, Is your school ready? She forgot about that. But this boy, he does not. That is why, after a few days, when he meets her, whatever, he asked her that, Is your school ready? If your school ready? In fact, the writer had never met it. After the regular encounters with these boys, the writer has known Sahib for a few months. When she asks him his name, he replies as if he is making an announcement. That his name is Sahib A. Alam. I told you, his name is Sahib A. Alam. The writer thinks that the boy does not know the meaning of his name. And if he comes to know that his name means Lord of the Universe. Lord 
of the universe if he comes to know that his name means lord of the universe he will not be able to believe it his name is opposite to his life his name is sahibe al it means lord of the universe and his life is a rag picking his profession is a rag picking so it is his name is opposite to his life he goes around the streets with a group of friends and other feels as it is like an army of boys who does not wear any footwear if she feels that it is like an army of boys they appear in the morning like the morning birds and disappear at noon the writer can recognize all of them as she has been seeing them for the past few months the writer asked one of them that why is he not wearing any footwear the boy simply replies that his mother does not give them down from the shelf that is the reason she sees that these boys they are just like a army of barefoot boys they are walking and one day she asked one of them that why is he not wearing any footwear the boy simply replies that his mother does not get them down from the shelf as they are beyond his reach he does not wear them the reason for that they don't wear chappals that is they are beyond their reach and the other listens many comments from this boys one boy who is wearing a different shoes in each foot says that even if his mother would have given him the footwear he would have thrown it away it means that the boy is not wearing footwear because he does not want to wear ones actually the basic reason is that he does not have money to buy he does not have uh, shoes or chappals but they do not want to say to anyone about this scenario the writer asks the second boy the reason for wearing a different shoe in each foot he does not reply and he shuffles his feet as he tries to hide the shoes a third boy speaks that he is eager to get a pair of shoes as he has not never owned one all his life he is eager to get a pair of shoes listen there how pitiable is their condition because they don't have shoes they don't have chappals they walk barefoot can you imagine that you are walking barefoot more than 1 hour or 2 hours or 10 kilometers this boy is that the entire life they are in their entire childhood they are wearing and uh, sorry they are not wearing chappals they are not wearing shoes that is a dream for them the writer takes the example of shoes to highlight the condition of this boy the writer takes the examples of shoes to highlight the condition of this boy they search the garbage dumps looking for such precious things she further tells us that as she travels across the country she has seen many children walking barefoot in the cities she has seen many children walking barefoot the reason that they wear barefoot not due to lack of money to buy barefoot but be barefoot is a tradition for them actually the reason that they wear barefoot not due to lack of money to buy food there but being barefoot is a tradition for them the writer wonders and concludes that the reason of it being a tradition is mere excuse to hide the fact it is actually not that they uh, that is their tradition the basic thing is that they don't have enough money to buy they try to hide these things that are telling that is their tradition that is why they don't want to wear the basic thing is the fact they are so poor that they cannot afford footwear the real fact that is they are very poor and that is why they cannot afford footwear writer talks to sakim a rag picker whose name means the roller of earth he loses a spark of child and roams barefoot with his friends loses the spark of child if you don't have any aim or if you don't have any hope to live then you may lose the spark of child it also the same thing happened the writer talks to sahib a rag picker whose name means the roller of earth 
He loses the spark of childhood and roams barefoot with his friends. I stop here. We will study the remaining part of the story in the next class. And I request you all that please listen the video or watch the video again and again and do the revision properly.